you can appeal if you're found guilty, of course, you can appeal. And many times people do, um, because the circuit court, which is a higher court, uh, tends to be uh, a, a, a stricter arbiter of the rules of evidence uh, than oftentimes the district court can be. The district court, for me, always has reminded me of the Wild West. Anything can be said there. But in the circuit court, if you say something you shouldn't say in, in a trial, that's the end of the case. It collapses straight away. So there's a, a much higher bar uh, in terms of the rules of evidence in the, in the circuit court, the appeal court, than perhaps the district court. Would you come across many people who have multiple offences of drink driving? Not usually, no. Not usually. I mean, the people who ring me have never been in trouble before. Um, they've never gotten so much as a parking ticket, they tell me, or a speeding ticket. So no, you wouldn't. Um, occasionally, yeah, you would. And, and they, those would be guys like who would be maybe into their 50s, who would have gotten one 10 years ago or 20 years ago. But generally, no, it's not really a pattern thing. Um, the people who keep getting involved in, in drink driving offences repeatedly tend to have a more underlying criminal problem, but not regular people. Can you have one drink and drive? You shouldn't, obviously, everyone knows you shouldn't. Um, because the impact of one drink could be different for you than for me, or for me, and then, or someone who was maybe a good deal lighter than me, uh, who hadn't maybe eaten in a while or hadn't slept in a while. The, a drink can affect you in different ways at different times. So your ability to process alcohol might be different to mine, and mine might be different to somebody else. So, Trying to apply an arbitrary rule of one drink to everybody is an impossibility because we all are different. And so the safe way of approaching that is to obviously not do it, but there is no definable scientific way that you can say that one is, is okay. It might be on one day, but it might be on the next day. Do you get an automatic ban for drink driving? Yeah, you do get an automatic ban for drink driving. Um, so the two options for people in court are to plead guilty or plead not guilty. Uh, if you plead guilty, you'll be put off the road. If you plead not guilty and you're acquitted, then great. Uh, nothing happens, you're, it's like it never happened. If you plead guilty or you're found guilty, you're going off the road. So there's actually no benefit for people to plead guilty. And they're put down, they're, they're channeled down this road where I've got no option sometimes but to plead not guilty because I cannot afford not to have my license. But yes, it is an automatic ban, I'm afraid. It is a really big event in their life that you're having an impact on. It's huge. And they ask you some of the questions you would never imagine being asked, you know, because they've never been there. They have no idea what it's like. Where do I have to sit? Do I have to speak? If I enter a plea of not guilty, will the judge be angry at me? Which I heard recently. And of course, no. But these are the things that play on people's minds. Court is, is very much a specialised place, they have no experience of it. They don't know what goes on inside there except for TV I and mean, they kind of partially guess the TV's not real. So it adds to that kind of uncertainty. And any time there's uncertainty, there's stress, always. And so when they come to me, it's usually in a very stressed uh, state of mind. Can I go to jail for drink driving? That's, a, that's actually one of the most popular questions that you'd get asked, and generally you get asked that by people who've never been in trouble before, which is nearly all the people I represent. If it's your first time coming to court for drink driving, then no. The, the chances of you being jailed are effectively nil. That, that, that would only change if there was an aggravating factor, like there was a crash, somebody was hurt, damaged the property, then yeah, you could be. Um, it's always there as a sanction. It really is only ever applied to people who get arrested for drink driving two, three, or more times. Uh, if you get arrested twice, the judge is supposed to consider jail. If, you're, if you get arrested a third time, you're at high risk of jail. But on the first occasion, not really.